Hello, welcome to the channel. Let's provide answer to this question. We have this from one of our followers. We are to find sine uh, into bracket a minus b cos into bracket a minus b. So if sine a is given to us on 4, on 5, and uh, cos b is given us 12 on 13, where the angle a is an obtuse angle, simply means the angle A is in the second quadrant and the B is an acute angle, meaning it is in the first quadrant. So you have to find the value of this. So looking at this simply means you are looking for compound angle, right? All right. Now we can just say, since sign is here, let me just introduce this into their places. That could not work because the cost is not having the A. We should have cos A, we should also have what? Sine B in order to be able to effect this. Do you get the point? So we cannot just go straight forward and use it. Now there are two ways of getting the cos A and sine B by drawing the right angle triangle, find the, the missing side and you are gone. But I'll be using the identity. This is sine squared theta plus what? Cos squared theta equals what? One. That is identity. So in this case, I am going to use the angle A. It will help me find the cos A here. Do you get it? But this is uh, A is what? Obtuse angle. Meaning is between 90 degrees and what? 180 degrees or better still we can say that it is in the if we take our quadrant all silly tan cast we know that as obtuse angle we, the angle must be here in order to find obtuse you know this is acute so this is an obtuse angle it means this is where the angle is and this is for sine. It means sine is the only angle that can be positive here. Any other angle will be negative, meaning the cos will be a negative angle. It means the cos of this will be a negative angle. So I'll be making cos the subject here. What I mean is that from here, I can see that let me have cos A, you know, is a square equals to the square root of this is maintained 1 minus this is going there right and that become sine square what a with the theta i'm trying to put all things together because of the space on the board so here if i am going to find the cos a cos a is in which quadrant the second quadrant which is going to be a negative it means the cos will be a negative so negative square root of are you with me negative square root of this so this is going to be negative square root of one minus sine square a sine square a meaning squaring of the value of sine a and that will be four over five square i believe on the same page with me so if you have this you can square the top and square that down and that will give us let me just continue here cos a will be negative square root of 1 minus 4 square 16 5 square 25 all still under the root so let me work out that you know anytime you are subtracting a fraction from 1 you are only looking for a number that you ask the numerator to get the denominator so that they can all be the same. So I'm, think, I'm thinking of 9. If I add 9 to 16, I'll get 25. So it means this is going to be negative square root of 9 out of what? 25. And we can remember the tutorial on the word set. If I have this, it could be the root of 9 over root of 4, 25. And that will be negative, which is this. Root of 9 will be 3. Root of 5, I think 5. Uh, root of 25 will be what? 
5. So this is going to be the value of what? Cos A. You know, sine A, cos A. So what do we do now? We need sine B. Still from this same expression, I'll be using sine square B plus cos square B equal to 1, which is the same Pythagoras identity of trigonometry. So in this case, I need the, the sign, right? So I'll make the sign the subject. So sine B will be equal to the square root of 1, which is this, minus cos square root B. I'm sure you are getting the step one after the other. We are making sine a subject, meaning cos will go and subtract from 1. And we are finding the square root of both sides. So the square can cancel here and be on that number. Right? We are told that uh, B is an acute angle, meaning it's the first part one. All the truth functions are positive in the first part one. So sine B will be positive. Alright. So let me do my substitution. 1 minus cos square b, which is cos square square. We are going to square the whole thing, meaning 12 over 13 all square. Don't be tempted to say this square will cancel the square root. You will be wrong because of this minus. If we were to be multiplying, then we can do the cancellation. So this could also mean that the square root of 1 minus 12 square. 144, 13 square, 169. And in the same vein, this fraction is subtracted from where? From 1. So we need a number that when I add it to 144, I should get what? Uh, 169. 5 plus this will give me this. 2 plus this give me this. So 25. So the whole of this is going to be the root of 25 over what? 169. Indices uh, say root 25 over root 169, and that leaves you root 25 is what 5, root 169 is what 13. So sine B is known, cos A is known. So, what do we need? We need this expression. All right, so right here, sine A minus B. And at the compound angle, if you are doing sine, that will be the sine of A, the cos of what? B. Look at like that. Then minus. See, this is minus. We come to the cos of A, the sine of what? B. This is a minus. You pick the sine of the first one times the cos of the second one. Then minus the cos of the first one, then the sine of the second one. So right here, we only do substitution. Sine A, where do I have it? Sine A, I think sine A is what we're giving in the question, right? Sine A is a 4 over 5. So here I have 4 over 5 multiplying cos B. Cos B. And the cos B is giving the function as 13, sorry, 12 on what? 13 minus this minus. Let's go to cos A. Cos A. Cos A. Negative. So it's going to be negative, negative. So positive 3 on 5 multiplying sine B. Sine B, which is going to be 5 on what? 13. So for that multiplication, there's no common factor. So this and this will be 48. This will give us 15. Is that not it? No, is this 3 or 13? 12 on 13. So if it is 13, 13 times 5, this will be 65. So plus. I can see 5 cancelling this, leaving me 3 on what? 13. You know, when you are adding fractions, we try to make sure you have like fractions. 
So if I multiply the top by 5, the down by 5, this will have been 65 as the same denominator. So I'll only add my numerators. Let me take care of this. Okay. So this will be 48 over 65. 5 times this, 15. 5 times this, 65. And you can remember, since they have the same denominator, add the numerators. I believe so. This plus this will give us uh, 50, 63, right? Over 65. I guess that is okay, right? So at this point, we are looking for tan A minus B, which I know by now, you know what to do, since tan is what? Sine over cos. I can rewrite this as sine A minus B over cos A minus what? B. You know, tan is just sine over cos, right? So I can write this over this. I already know what the sine uh, A minus B is. I am left to find the cos A minus B. So that will be my next approach. So cos A minus B is the same as what? The cos A, then cos B, the minus become what? Plus. So you have sine A, sine B. That is the compound angle of sine, of cos. So the cos of the first, the cos of the second one, they multiply. Plus the sine change to this. Then we have uh, the sine A, then the sine word B. So let's do our substitution. Keeping in mind cos A. Let me have it. We have sine A is uh, 4 on 5. Cos A is negative 3 on 5. Cos B is giving 12 on 13. Then sine B, we have that as well. 5 on 13 as well. Let's do substitution. Cos A, where is it? Here is cos A. Negative 3 on 5 multiplying cos B, which is giving in the fraction 12 on 13. This is plus, right? Sine A. Where do I have sine A? Which is 4 on 5 multiplying sine B. Where is my sine B? 5 on what? 13. So we perform the multiplication and the addition. The top will multiply, the down will multiply, since there is no common factor. So 3 times 12 will be negative 36, since 3 is negative. Then this will still be 65. I know I have to cancel 5, so I'll be left with 4 out of 4, 13. I need this to be 65. So let me repeat my negative 36, 65, plus multiplying this by 5, give you 20. This by 5, making it 65. They have the same denominators. So now let's compute the the numerator so negative 36 plus 20 meaning 20 minus negative minus 36 and that gives us negative 16 i guess so i have uh cos a minus b equals to negative 16 out of what 65 so fast forward tan a minus b which is sine a minus b cos a minus b per substitution right we are going to have what do we have for the gentleman sine a minus b we have 63 65 right divided by the cost which is negative 16 65 Right? We change this one to become 63, 65.
times negative uh, 65 over 16. When we change the division to multiplication, we flip the second fraction, which we can see 65 is a common factor. So negative 1 times 63, should be 63 negative, divided by 16. So in this case, our final answer for tan A minus B will be negative 63 on 16. We just need a fraction. We can do that into this fraction or decimal. So look at it carefully. We employ the compound angle, principle or the identity, into the various step, step by step, then you can be able to uh, replace. But bear in mind, where the angle is given, whether it's an acute angle, obtuse, or reflex word angle. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and comment. Bye bye.